Welcome back, viewers. Reverend Anita is sharing with us on the topic, Look Inwards for Creative Ideas. She has defined for us what success is. She says success is looking out for a need and reaching out to meet it. Hallelujah. And Pastor Anita continues. She says, some people believe the reason they're suffering or the reason they're poor is because of the kind of work they do. That's sad. That's not true, she exclaims. The problem isn't the kind of work they do. Rather, it's in their minds. Your mind is what determines what you become. For, as it's written in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Hallelujah. You know, over the years, Pastor Chris has taught me that it's important to place a high value on what you do, on what God has blessed you with as a job or profession. You know, when you find your purpose in life, you will not be looking out for anyone to reward you because you know, no one can reward you enough for what you do. And it's interesting how Pastor Nita says that your mind is what determines what you become. For as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. I have met cleaners or janitors who love what they do. You know, someone is bound to create filth and mess up things. They loathe that. And so they enjoy cleaning. And then there's the other janitor who despises what he does in cleaning or as a cleaner. So the difference here is how both janitors have placed value on what they do. Hallelujah. Look at the profession of a teacher. A good teacher at that takes delight in seeing his pupil of yesteryears do so well later in life, becoming a pastor. I imagine how Pastor Chris's teachers are proud of him, you know, becoming a pastor, a teacher, an engineer, a lawyer. Now, that teacher doesn't get to become all of these, but because of the value he has placed on what he does, he enjoys seeing his pupils, you know, become somebody's in life, become relevant in life. And yet you can still have teachers who are miserable. They don't like what they do. It's your mind. It's your mindset. It's the value you have placed on, on what God has blessed you with as a job or as a profession. But Moon, to add to that, the, the word of God has said that there's profit in all labor. So Reverend Anita is saying it's not a kind of work, Absolutely but your not. ability to move, like in the example that you gave, in the case of janitors, we have people who started cleaning houses and ended up with companies, cleaning companies. Yes. Yes. So you don't need to suffer or you don't need to degrade yourself in what you are doing, but be able to tap within you the excellence to move it to the next level. I can think of a situation where you start uh, selling from a tabletop, mm -hmm. you move to a container, to a kiosk. <laughs> and before <laughs> you realize you, you own keep, a whole You mall. keep graduating. To a you whole more. It is possible. Absolutely. If you think so in your mm. mind. Mm. So, so that's why she's saying. Yes. It's all the state of your mind. You should be able to know that I start with two cans of yes. siding and then before I move, the I next five years. Up. Yes. Yes. That is, if you are uh, able to, to, to deal with the ability of the like spirit that. for you to, to, to mm. move it forward. Mm. So at the end of the mm. day, it's very true that mm. there's profit in all labor. Yes, there is. You can, there a janitor is. can have a cleaning service, yes. cleaning all the offices, but you started cleaning the gutters probably. So really, really, it's the way we think. You, you have just hit the nail right on the head. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's why this topic is, is so important. Mm -hmm. It's pertinent. You need to understand it. At any level, you can get better. That's right. You know, you, you can't say right. this as well, this is the end. Does it get better than this? It does. No matter how high you rise, you can rise higher. All you have to do is look inwards. Pastor Nietzsche couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> so really, the word of God is so true. Indeed it is. As a man and, thinketh, and, and practical. So, so, yes. so is he. Hallelujah. Yes. Rabbi Anita continues to say, look inwards and live from inside out. Put your creative juices to work I like that initiate <laughs> prosperity and victory from within you for they are inherent inherent in your spirit god has deposited in your spirit everything you require for Hallelujah. a successful life Hallelujah. search yourself dig deep within you 
and discover the treasure and talents you have. Put them to work, and the anointing of God will cause them to produce and multiply. Hallelujah. I love the wording in the first sentence. Look inwards and live from inside out. Then she says, put your creative juices to work. You know, that means let your... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just tickled <laughs> by this. You know, let your creative juices flow. Let everyone have a sip of it. You know, let everyone um, find you relevant. That's what we said earlier. You have been created. You're here today for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. It means you're relevant for this age, mm -hmm. for this time, for this dispensation, for this generation. You know, Pastor Chris said something profound. Mm -hmm. I love how it is that, you know, Pastor Chris teaches and it stays with you forever. That's right. He said, you know, one of the saddest things in life is a man on a journey to nowhere. He says it's like sitting in a rocking chair. You're moving back and forth, you know, but really you're going nowhere. Mm -hmm. A lot of energy exerted. Even beads of sweat may form on your forehead. But you've done nothing. You're busy for nothing. Don't be like that. Don't live for nothing. It's sad if this is your story, but it can change from today. All you have to do is look inward yes. for creative ideas and make yourself relevant. Hallelujah. Praise God. I am in love with this paragraph. <laughs> and it reminds me of the Rhapsody. I don't know whether it's the May or June edition where Pastor talked about discover yourself. Discover yourself. Discover the treasure. I don't know. <laughs> That rhapsody is still in my spirit. There you go. I think pastor says that God's desire mm. for us mm. is to locate the treasure mm. inside mm. and that mm. the word of God mm. is the only light mm. that can, is the true light that can locate Hallelujah. and unveil the treasure. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Because Hallelujah. if you are able to do that, then, then it means without the word of God, mm. you cannot locate the true man inside because God is the only one who knows what, what, they, what you can do. You know, do. the word of God is the mirror of God. Yes. And so as you look at it, as you meditate consciously, you, become, you see yourself. You, become you know, you become what it, what it says. Yes. It, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Huh. And, the, and the other aspect that we shouldn't miss out is, God, Pastor Chris says, you are so unique. Hmm. I'm the only Patricia God has. And I'm the only one who can, can say the way can be like me. Has, you, Nobody can do it like me. Like, so, so if you are not functioning yes. the way you yes. are supposed to, if yes. you don't locate the treasure yes. within you, yes. then there's, there's problems somewhere. Do you understand? Uh, indeed. Indeed. So, indeed. So that everybody has something to give. You're special. You're so special. You're special. Now, if you begin to understand, mm. and I like the way Pastor Chris says, <laughs> sees from God's perspective. That's right. Not what men are saying, no. not what your teacher no. said, what the, what the husband no. is saying or no. whatever, no. but try and locate what is within. Yes. Oh, I'm so touched. He said, he said search yourself. And Pastor Chris says somewhere that you should live from inside out, which means you have to close your eyes. You know, you walk blind. That's what I say to myself. Close this third eye, you know, this one, and look within. Mm -hmm. See it from inside. See, yeah, that's what he says. He said we See should live from, from inside out. Hallelujah. But most viewers, most of us are living from the other from, way from around. Outside in. Uh, yes. <laughs> outside in. No. You know, if you, you do that, you know, your, your society, your country will determine what you become. But you're supposed to look inside, you know, live from inside out so that it's the, it's the word of God deposited in your spirit that will determine what you become. Hallelujah. No, the alignment, you ah. know, the alignment. You, know, you, you align yourself with what God is saying. I like that. It's, it's an alignment. <laughs> and Pastor Chris uses you know, the word pari pasu. <laughs> you, know, you see, that it's, it's so exciting. Hallelujah. This is the truth. You see, this is the truth. Now understand the word of God when he says you shall know the truth. Mm, and, and the, the truth, truth shall make you free. Now you know you are in charge. You are in control <laughs> of your life. You don't need anybody. Hallelujah. You just have to look inside Hallelujah. and live from Oh Hallelujah. my God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. You see, see what the theme scripture says. You know, we can't says. go on. We just have to thank Pastor we, we, we have for bringing this truth to us. <laughs> Absolutely. Pastor Anita, you know, see what it says in, in the theme scripture. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Mm -hmm. I, I, can you think about what you find, you know, so valuable? Treasure. I'm sure you're thinking of gold and riches. Yes, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. You can become a vessel of honor, fit for the master's use, fit for God's use. How? 
it's always inside there. Now understand, you know, the more I read the rhapsody, the more I understand God. Of course. The more, and Pastor says, the more you understand God, the more you understand yourself. You, you know, one of the reasons why the rhapsody of realities is our favorite daily devotion oh, is because it makes the word of God more practical. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't seem as far-fetched as it used to be. You can relate to it in your everyday life. Hallelujah. No more wondering, no more no, wondering, what no, should I do, no, where, no, who, not when. Anymore. No, not anymore. Not anymore. You know the Praise answer God. is within. Praise I'm so scared of you. See. So, so, but I don't know whether I made the point. Uh -huh. It's a choice. Uh -huh. You can live as the earthen vessel, what the body is saying. Mm -hmm. yes. Your body is always telling yes. you ideas. The environment is telling but you ideas. But which would you listen to? You now look to the treasure inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, which can contain God. We need because to add that one. Because your is big enough to contain Ten, it all. Yes, because <laughs> the spirit is, is, is made in an image of God. We can contain yes. God. Oh yes. my God. So yes. now that I know yes. that I have, I have the image of God, mm. I can contain mm. him and all that I need mm. is inside, mm. you begin to rest. Hallelujah. The, the world becomes too small for you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So look in what's for amazing. creative ideas. It's amazing. amazing. Today it's your time. Arise and shine. Yes. Refuse to live a substandard life. Don't. You can excel in anything you're doing. You can Hallelujah. go on and on. We could go oh, on and on. And on, <laughs> on, and on. I'm so scared. <laughs> yes, viewers, please, can we take the confession together? Mm. I bring forth good things today from within me. I bring forth good things today from within me. Because I have an excellent mind. Because I have an excellent mind. I have insight into mysteries. I have insight into mysteries. And secrets. And secrets. And bring forth creative ideas. And I bring forth creative ideas. Because Christ. Because Christ. Has been made unto me wisdom. Has been made unto me wisdom. I initiate success. I initiate success. Victory. Victory and prosperity and prosperity from within, from within, in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 You know, there's amen. one beautiful thing about the Rhapsody of Reality Daily Devotional. Pastor Chris does not limit us to the scriptural references that he shares with us for that particular day. He gives us other scriptural references for further studies mm -hmm. to deepen our comprehension of the topic he shared with us. And so for today, 15th July, 2013, Pastor Anita gives us a couple of scriptures for further studies. The first is Luke chapter 6, verse 45, and Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Well, this sums it up for today's reading, where Pastor Anita has shared with us on the topic, look inwards for creative ideas. I'm sure it has stirred up something in your spirit and from today you will not live a substandard life. We're taking a break and we bring you praise report from readers of Rhapsody of Realities around the world. Enjoy. I have been using the Rhapsody of Realities since I started volunteering with our church. I was very much involved with the collection and distribution of the devotional. After reading the first few editions, I came to understand the Word of God more than before. It was like a cleanup campaign. It caused extreme major changes in my life. I have been involved in the distribution of Rhapsody Realities since last year, reaching out to people, and it's amazing that I travel with authority, that I learned from the book. I travel with no money at times, and I take rental cars, and money just shows up. Oh, it's just such a great experience. I have been applying all the teachings in every word of God. I am speechless when I see things work in mysterious ways. I'm so excited and filled with the Holy Spirit, and I speak in tongues, which has moved me to another level of boldness and confidence in my relationship with the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita, for this great message. Junior Aropiomi from Fiji. Welcome back, viewers. This is Rhapsody of Realities program. And today's message is very insightful. I'm very stirred, and I know your lives will never be the same. And we're certain you're inspired by the testimonies you've heard from readers of Rhapsody 
all over the world. You can also send us your testimonies. Just send them to the email addresses displayed on your screen. And so, make it a date with us, same time, same place, tomorrow. Until then, keep, keep reading, reading your, your Rhapsody, Rhapsody of, of realities. realities. God, God bless, bless you. you. Go get your copy.